and welcome to Paradiddle Pete's Drum Shop. Where today we're gonna fix up a drum, but uh, first I'm playing with my cat. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so here's the factory. This is the shop. This is the drum shop. Got all my drum keys just chilling on a wall. We got some like. Uh, blank drum pads that I haven't painted or glued or done anything with and then we have this bad boy right here this is what we're gonna be working on everything's kind of a mess don't judge so this is the drum that we're gonna be working on it's an old uh, pearl it's a maple shell I was given uh, this by a friend uh, it doesn't have really anything um, so Basically, we're gonna kind of do everything. We're gonna strip this red. We're gonna strip this red stuff. We're gonna get new lugs. We're gonna get some tension screws for it. Uh, the shell's fine. It's not really cracked. We got a little bit of damage right here, and a little bit of damage right there. But it shouldn't be too much. Like everything should be okay. Um, we might even paint it. I haven't decided if we're gonna paint it or we're gonna lacquer it. Uh, but it's, it's gonna be a fun project and I, I can't wait. So uh, I realized that I don't have any more lug casings or our lugs for the drum. Uh, I did find out that there is a pawn shop slash guitar shop slash music shop or whatever that's down in spring. So that's where we're going right now to go check. I called, they said that they have lugs. And now, are, are some tension screws. I'm gonna check to see if they have any lugs. Uh, I do have some tension screws, but I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna be the right size. So that's where I'm at. That's our, That's where I'm going right now. Uh, they close at uh, soon. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. If, they, if we don't make it, let's fine, it's whatever. We'll, um, I'll, there's a lot of more work that needs to get done. So that's just what we're doing at the moment. All right, boys. Well, we made it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like a real classy joint here at uh, All Pawn and Music Shop. We didn't quite make it. It's uh, they closed like literally two minutes ago. Uh, I probably would have made it with like 10 minutes to spare, but there was a wreck on the highway, and um, that kind of like ate up the time. I think I'm just gonna try again tomorrow. There's plenty of work to be done on the the shell and like all this other stuff. So. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna head back home. I'll probably swing by and get something to eat because like I mean I haven't eaten anything all day and um, Then just you know get cracking on it, you know, okay, so we're back in the shop I just got back home had a little grub the Jimmy John's number 16 Club Lulu with avocado added always got to get the avocado We're back here and uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done with this even though we don't have the lugs now I do have some lugs. I'm pretty sure in uh, my tool chest, that's empty. Uh, here we go. So I got a, I got some stuff in here, but that's not what we're looking for. I don't know. Well, that's, is that gonna work? No. No, it's too big. Um. Ooh, what about this one? That's literally no, no. That's a tenor thing. I'm gonna unscrew all of these things, and then I'm gonna take off this wrap. And there's a little thing right there. Uh, the way you take off this wrap is, well, you're supposed to have a heat gun, but uh, I'm poor. <laughs> I don't have a heat gun, but I got a hair dryer. So that's what we're going to use. And uh, I've used the hair dryer before. It just takes freaking forever. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get these old pieces of things off and let's uh, get this thing stripped. All right, so I just uh, took off the, the lugs. Here are the, the holes. Yeah, some of the screws were stripped, so it took a little bit longer than expected. But then I remembered that I had uh, this thing, so that made things a little bit faster. These are weird. It looks like someone's like cut them or something. 
I think that our little friend here, our drum here, has uh, been through a lot. And I think that this, this has been a zombie drum for quite some time that we are breathing life, new life, into this thing. Okay, um, next thing is, is I am gonna try to get this bad boy off. Okay, so here's the hair dryer I'm gonna use. Uh, now I know, I'm sure some of you guys are like, dude, come on, Paradiddle Pete, just go buy a heat gun at like Home Depot or something. Uh, you can get a cheap one for like $15. I'll tell you what, if this fails, which it might, I'll go to Home Depot and like pick up like an actual heat gun. I'll do one better. I'll even get like a good one, like a, like, like a $50 one or a $75 one or, or, or something like that. Like I'll get a good one. But uh, I know that this is going to work because I've already restored a marching snare drum and uh, this is how I did it when I was in college. Okay, so I have success. I have the first uh, startings of the wrap being peeled off. Um, the hair dryer totally worked. It heated up the glue enough so that way I could get a, an X-Acto knife underneath it and peel some of the glue off. And then, um, then this is just so old that it just started flaking off. Uh, this is tape. Now if you look right here, this is the seam. And after further inspection of this drum, I am more than positive that this was a drum that some type of like marching bass drum or, or, or like kick drum type of lugs of some kind were used. They were sawed off or something right here. I, I don't know. May, maybe it connected to the rim. Not entirely sure. Maybe it didn't. And I think this was zombied together. But seeing how these, where would they go? But seeing how these were cut off, I think that this was repurposed for it to be some type of drum to go outside. And you can also tell that based on like the color. And like how, because th this drum has obviously spent a lot of time in the sun. Another thing is that you can see the seam of the drum wrap. And like they try to put it right next to the lug casing right here. So that way when they screw this in, it's another added protection to make sure that this doesn't fall apart. But... I mean, it's very, it's glued in there pretty well. Okay, if you look right here, these are air holes, or air ports. And what this is, is the way drums work and the way the sound works is that when you hit the drum, the stick hits the, the head. No matter how tight the head is, it'll always give way. It'll always move a little bit. And what happens with that is that it hits the drum, the, the drum head hits down, and it hits all the air inside of the drum. So, hit the drum, the head gives, it moves all the air in here, which pushes it down, which activates the other head, but that air has to go somewhere. There needs to be an out, and that's what these are for. And there's actually certain drums that have like certain air, air, air ports where you can like close it, half close it, whatever, and it actually helps it even be louder and more strong of a sound because it gives a, a section for the air to come out. Now, that's just like my observ observation, like what I learned in college and stuff. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows like exactly what that stuff does. And like I'm sure that I can figure that stuff out too. And maybe I will. And when I do, I'll definitely share it with you guys. But the reason I'm stopping is uh, I need to get my, I need to heat this up because it's like stuck. It's like really, it's really uh, clamped on there. I don't want to take these things out. I want to leave these in, but I need to get the wrap out from the other side, from around it. And then there's uh, another one on this side too. And once I do that, uh, then I'll just get some goo gone to get this uh, excess tape off. And then uh, I'll sand it down and I guess we'll be ready to paint. Okay, so I got it off. So now we just have, uh oh, two seconds. Okay, so I got it all off. 
Uh, this is what we got. We got a full blank shell. Now there's a bunch of like gobbledy goop right here. If you look right here, like that, this it's like double sided tape and some like whatever. That was because I was careless with the scissors. I should have got my uh, my putty knife to, to pry it out, but I'm sure I can buffer that out with some sanding. But anyway, I'm gonna sand it and then we will be ready to paint. And then hopefully tomorrow I can make it down to the drum shop or God forbid guitar center. And get some uh, get some lugs and get uh, get some tension screws. So I just about got all the glue off. See if it'll focus for me. Uh, the little bit of glue that is left will uh, will be easily sanded off. There's also some scotch tape that was over here. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. The glue is just about off. Um, so I'm gonna see if I have some sandpaper, which I don't know if I did. I was not prepared for this uh, <laughs> for this project at all. Um, and then we'll be ready to paint this bad boy. Okay, so I did have uh, a few, sand, a little bit of sandpaper left. And before you start blowing up the comment section, like, use your belt sander or whatever. Not belt sander, but um, I do have this. I do have an electric sander. I don't know what happened to this. I got this at a garage sale for like a dollar or like 25 cents or something. Um, or maybe the old man back home gave it to me. I'm not sure. Actually, I think I stole it from the old man. But, um... Point is, is that I've already I've already messed up right here with trying to get the things off. I don't want to over sand. I don't want to do anything too drastic just yet. I kind of want to just try it with my hand, just kind of lightly doing it because it doesn't need a lot. And if it needs anything, it's going to be right here trying to get the, the rest of the glue and maybe trying to buff that out at the best I can. So I don't really want to use that just because... I don't want to mess up any more than I already have, even though what I have done is just minor. Because I do really want this to be a really nice drum. Any drum can be a nice drum as long as there's no cracks in it. Okay, so it's getting pretty late. I'm going to call it a night. I sanded that. Uh, this, is, this is off. The, the, I'm not going to lie, this is a mess. Um, but the big thing is, is that you guys need to go down in the comment section as I continue to hunt for, uh, lugs. Y'all need to go down in the comment section and tell me what color to paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leave down a number down below. Hey, made it to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And if you really did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you really enjoyed it, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks. See you next time.